In this video, we're going to learn about the accounting for sales orders. We will see what accounting is created and when for sales orders, what actions trigger the accounting to be created for sales orders, what your accounting entries look like, and what other factors affect where entries are posted in accounts. Creating and saving a sales order will not generate any accounting entries. Allocating inventory also does not affect accounts, it only reserves items. It is only at the point of invoicing, shipping and taking payment that the accounting entries are created. What we're going to do here is we're going to allocate all the items and we're going to save the changes. We're then going to check the reports and general ledger. As we can see there are no accounting entries created when the sales order is created and allocated. We can see that the order has now been allocated. You don't need to process a sales order in this order, but what I will do is first pay the sales order. I will choose the correct bank account. I will enter a payment reference if required, and I'm going to pay it off for the full £100. As can be seen, the payment has now been shown to be allocated. If we go and check the reports and general ledger, You can now see that there is a SR or sales receipt that has been created. This is affecting the bank account and the debt control account. And if we open this journal, you can see the journal that is created. We can now ship the order by going to the fulfill order, fulfill and mark as shipped. Now it is saying that it's been fully shipped, we can now go to the reports, general ledger. When the order is shipped, this will create a JJ journal type affecting the stock. If you're not using the cost of goods sold, then you will not get the stock journal created. There is more information on this setting under the default settings for accounting UK video. If we click on the journal now, we can see that there is a journal between the stock and the inventory and the purchases. The final step is now to invoice this order. So if we click on the invoice button, we can now see that the invoice has now been created. In the top left hand corner there is the SI-1183 for the invoice number. Again, if we go to the reports and general ledger, here we can see the SI or the sales invoice affecting the debt's control, sales code and if we go into the actual journal itself, we can see that it is affecting any tax codes as necessary. If you do not invoice or only set the status to invoiced, this will not create the journal. Now that we have invoiced, paid and shipped this order, we can go to the accounting search and search for the order number, in this case 936. When we search for this, this will show us all the journals that relate to this order. As we can see, we have the sales invoice, the journals and the sales receipt for the payment. In this video we have seen what accounting is created and when in a sales order, what actions trigger the accounting to be created for a sales order, what your accounting entries will look like, what other factors can affect where entries are posted. That takes us to the end of the video about accounting entries for sales orders.